physiotherapist with CMT Type 1A. Over the course of these videos, I'm going to be showing you a series of exercises that you can do at home with minimal equipment. And the aim of this is to try and keep your muscles strong, keep you moving and get you more active at home. These exercises are designed to need minimal equipment um, and I will let you know what you do need and when before we have to do it. And some of the exercises might involve getting on and off the floor, so I'll let you know when that is as well. So then we can either take you through how to get off the floor safely, um, or you can skip that section if necessary. The exercises are designed around wearing your AFOs throughout, so make sure that you are wearing AFOs and trainers if you need them. If there are occasional exercises where we might need to unstrap them or take it off, then only do so if it's safe for you. It's important to remember that CMT is really variable, so some people will be affected much more than me, some people much less than me. Um, so I've tried to show a different variation of the exercises so you can pick one that's at your level. But if you do need more specific advice, I would recommend you speak to your physiotherapist. Or if you have any particular questions about these exercises and how you can modify them to be you, then you can drop me an email as well. Hello and welcome back for video 3. This one's going to be um, a bit of a combination between a light cardio circuit, don't panic or be put off, it won't be too bad, um, and then some stretches. So some of them will involve getting on the floor again. So if you need any help with getting off the floor, then you can check our first video. Um, otherwise, then you can just skip it. It's, an, it's not a problem at all. It's absolutely fine. So for this, you won't really need any equipment. You don't have to have any. If you do have one light weight, then we could use that for one of the exercises for this round. But if not, then that's absolutely fine. So we're going to be doing three rounds of these exercises. So the first one is going to be, well, you can either march on the spot if you want, or you can run on the spot. Um, when I'm running, I'm going to be a bit wonky because I've got an airflow on one side. Um, but I'm going to give it a go anyway because I don't think that that should stop us. Um, and then we're going to be doing step ups. So I would recommend holding onto a wall or a banister if you're doing it on your stairs. Um, and stuff that's like an easy, reasonably easy, manageable hike for you. Like holding onto support. Um, and then we're going to be doing standard diagonal toe taps. So getting your feet wide apart like this. Um, you can either bend down and touch your toes, we're coming up and down, or you can just go to your knees. If you think that that's just a bit too threatening for your balance, then knees is fine. We're just trying to get moving. Um, and then the last one then is a squat and reach, so we're just going to squat down and then reach up high. And this is the one where if you've got a dumbbell, we're going to hold it and then press it up as we come up. And that'll be round one, which we're going to be doing three times. So, I'll just get the dumbbell ready. Careful not to trip over it, we're going to be keeping it out of the way. Um, and we're going to start off with our um, running on the spot. Okay, so we're going to do that for 20 seconds. Off we go. So try and get your knees nice and high if you can. And that's 12 seconds now. Five, four, three, two, one. Holding on to support. One. You can alternate every time. Two. So, and then legs wide apart and off we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, if you've got a weight, then grab it. If not, don't worry. And then, feet wide apart. And then we're going to squat down. And we jump. So, that's one, two, three, four, Five, you can hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and about thirty seconds rest, and then we'll do another round. So, with the squats, last thing is um, if you need to, you can hold on to a chair for support, or like we did in video one, you can just stand and sit from a chair if that's easier. So. Do whatever suits you really. I'm 
make sure you stay hydrated as well. straight ahead as you'll often see people say you must do but you really it's not essential as long as you're doing it safely and the main thing is that your knees aren't caving in so as long as you can keep your knees right line with your toes that's fine okay so off we go with our running again so one rounds of 30 seconds rest in between. So these two exercises, the first one is called a mountain climber. So you can get your arms in like a plank position like this and then you can either just bring your knee up one at a time like this or you can turn it into more of a run like that if you can. That's probably the way that I'll do it. So um, the other option you can do is you can just do a normal plank, you can do a side plank, you can just swap sides each time um, or you can just do it on your knees if that's a bit too challenging as well. So you can just sort of lean through there and get your core to it. And then the other exercise is going to be similar to what we've done before. So it's your bridges. You won't get your foot flat on the floor if you're wearing the AFO. But then from there then, keep it as high as you can. Then we're going to straighten one leg out. Then we're going to swap over to the other one. Okay? So, when you're ready then, we have to turn around. 
Jag ska ha mitt fjärde leg. För det ska jag reach över. And just feel that stretch from the inside of your leg and your hamstring at the back. I'm just gonna hold it there. And then what we'll do is we'll do one more each of those. So we don't really need too much of a rest for this one. Because we're really stretching. So if you bring your leg over again like this, and then we're gonna reach through and grab hold of that knee, and I'm just gonna pull it towards you. And then if you want to, then you can take that one hand out and just gently apply some pressure onto the house. isn't quick enough for that then just go as far as you can um, or you can do it in sitting so you can sit on a chair and just straighten up one leg out in front of you and then bend over and that works fine as well so another way we're going to try is reaching up and then leaning over to the side and then over to the other side and then back up into the middle and then as we breathe out then reaching over to the right side and then inhale as you come up and then exhale as you lean over to the left again. And then back up into the middle. And now from um, all these upper back exercises we've been doing as well, what you can do is hold your hands like this, bring them out in front of you, and then think about pulling your shoulder blades apart. And one of the only times I've ever done it, you'll try and like arch your back and really breathe into the upper back muscles there. And then come back up and then do it. And then to stretch the muscles on your chest, you can get your hands behind your back, straighten your elbows, and then pull your shoulder blades back. And you should feel that stretching right across the front of your chest and shoulder. And relax. And I'll do that one more time. All the way out. And back. With CMT, you may also want to stretch your calves. That can be tricky to do if you're wearing an AFO or if you've got fused ankles or anything like that. But probably the easiest way to do it is to drop your heels off the edge of the step. Um, or you can hold, you can put one foot back and just drive your heel into the floor. So that's another easy way of doing it. As well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then please like, comment and share it. Let us know how you get on and I'll catch you in the next one.